So every season I do this thing where I watch a random Isekai anime of the season just for the lols. I try to choose a wholesome one because, you know, I need something wholesome in my life. And so, on that note, this season somehow chose this one, Isekai Sikaku, or No Longer Allowed in Another World. Yeah, to be honest, might have just chosen this one because I just happened to be on the site the day it was airing and expected it to be another goofy stuff with an overpowered hero or former victim of Truck-kun, who overpowers and beats down cocky villains in the other world. You know the kind. I mean, that was my expectation. It even had the parody tag on, so I was like, what the heck, but by episode 3, I went, what the heck is this? Yeah, just four episodes have aired at the time of this recording. And, oh, well, it's something. So this anime is basically about an overpowered hero who technically doesn't beat up the villains, poisons some, but no one on the beating. So get this, the protagonist is a suicidal writer who... For the entirety of what I've seen is called Sensei, who came to the other world after a double suicide attempt actually worked for a chains. Yeah, take notes, does I? And is summoned into the other world called What? Okay, so check the anime's description for the other world's name and found out Sensei's name, like Mr. Protagonist Sensei's name is Osuma Dazai. Parody text trending up now. But Sensei on the arrival thinks the other world is the afterlife, and apparently he's from 1948 Japan. Yeah, read the description, kids. Sometimes. He meets the guide Aneta san and immediately drinks poison during her intro monologue. Like, we're really living on that name. But after the usual interaction these types of meeting have, Sensei walks out leaving a netizen smitten by him and worried for his life after he sees that he has no special ability or stats or an even poison status to boot. Like cowboy Sensei already is frail and getting poison damaged. Outside, after another torp, Ish interaction with a random cat girl needing a saving from a tree monster and a little fan service with the branches and all, you know the kind. Our suicidal chat just walks up the tree monster already ready to be killed because that's his gig I guess. So the tree happily oblies and strangles him as it saps both their energy. But due to the poison status of our Mr. Chad since he's Life energy actually ends up doing damage to the monster and the tree monster Voldemort itself into the afterlife. Does Voldemort go to the afterlife? Wrong act. And what do you know? Another anime trope complete with a cat girl in love with Mr. Sensei. Do they call him Mr. Sensei? And Neda son the elf or angel from before joins in but our hero sensei at this point realizes his beloved satsun you know the girl he committed double suicide with could also be here because of isekai rules and he finally has a little if any will to live and decides to adventure this land whose name i'd have to watch the anime to remember again or hope it gets mentioned by or after episode 5. Yeah, I'm going with that one. So, two more episodes. The usual drill with meeting the king of the other world and helping the, pr helping the princess Aoni and getting rid of the demon lord serving Minotaur disguised as a top knight in the army who plans to marry the princess to become the king and offer the kingdom to the dark lord whose disguise get revealed after, well, he actually reveals it himself after the princess says something offhand about a smell that he thinks is her detecting the smell of a minotaur but it's actually just the random smell that the princess doesn't like. And during this time, the princess is having to choose between him or a leader discovered to be high level bard 
who also is her childhood friend on who's gonna be the king after getting married to the princess. But the princess has a heart-to-heart -heart moment with Mr. Sensei and <laughs> she chooses to ha commit a double suicide with Sensei. Yes, Sensei, our favorite influencer. Oh, it has negative energy. It's perfect fake. Wait, is that how that came? So, end of day or the episode, Princess realizes he doesn't want to come and double suicide with Sensei, but wants to serve the kingdom. <laughs> and so, they're off to the next adventure. Oh, did I mention S Sensei sleeps in a coffin he found at the end of the episode one and the two girls pull as they travel? Well, now you know. The final story so far is actually connecting this whole plot to the title where after an otherworldle worder otherworlder worlder somehow can't pronounce that kills the demon king dark lord the big bad of the world and the cocky side character who gets a sad backstory by the end of this arc tries to claim the kingdom for himself and all that's an anagans so sensei finally unlocks his op power which is sending otherworlders back to their original world and the OP power is literally the title of the anime no longer allowed it in another world and so yeah that's the story so far well there are a few plot lines I skipped over the meeting the dark lord's daughter and getting easy easy by her the other guide of the other temple and her bits and this rapper guy Otherworlder that you will love. Trust me on this, I won't lie to you. But, anyways, these plots or the plot point sounds like stuff that's either gonna make the season lit or just another drawn out anime I'm gonna watch at 1.5x speed to pass the time as I reintroduce my brain to some slice of life. You know, the weekly dose. So, yeah. That's it, I guess. Bye.